two, one, two, three, four. Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello, we're back for another one of our top 10 videos. Where are we, Jeff? We're at Tesco's. I've, I've got to stop. I keep saying, <laughs> don't I, Jason? Aren't we, Jason? No, I think it's fine. No, yeah, I sound like her off firm. Fast shot. Yeah. What did I say, Jason? I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, go on, go on. We're at Tesco's in Oldham. It's a rainy Saturday. Oh, it's foul. Uh, and we were talking about this in the car on the way up there. This is 10 great things you can get from Tesco's, not 10 nutritional and healthy things you can necessarily get from Tesco. It's our top 10 best vegan buys at Tesco. So let's go in. These are the one item that we, I suppose, from Tesco's use the most, and it's the 30 vegan sausage rolls, mini sausage rolls, for £1.75. Um, what I do is I cook them in batches of six, six mini ones, and Jason takes them to work with a bit of salad or a bit of veg. £1.75 for 30 mini sausage rolls. The second of our three freezer items that we kind of really rate from Tesco's are these, which are the very, very simple breaded uh, vegetarian quarter, vegetable quarter pounders, clearly marked as vegan. They are £1.75 for four, and although a lot of supermarkets do their own kind of version of a breaded uh, quarter pounder, these are just really tasty. Uh, so we highly rate them. Highly, I tell them. So, we can also get these from Tesco's in the free from range and they're absolutely amazing. There's loads of different ones you can get now um, in different companies doing different things um, but this was here all along originally. £2.25, they also do a strawberry one as well and they're absolutely gorgeous. Do try. Now, I've got to be honest here, right, our next item was going to be Tesco's Free From Chili and Jalapeno Cheddar Style Cheese. That's what it was going to be. But they haven't got any on the shelves and apparently they don't stock it here. So instead, we're going to put that as our next item. The pretty good, the £1.25 for four, of course, dairy free and fully vegan. And if you like a bit of yoghurt on your fruit in the morning, you can't go wrong with them. So there are item number four. So, these are amazing. We pretty much have one a night on average. Basically very similar to after eight mints. Not marked vegan, marked vegetarian, but it's just a cross-contamination thing. So if you're not too fussy about that, uh, and you don't have to worry too much about allergies, these are fantastic. We prefer them fridged, so it's just worth pointing that out. You might want to stick them in the fridge, get that nice crisp crack. Fabulous. Same with our next item. Mm. Start doing a video when focus shopping. If you didn't know about these, how happy have we just made you? Oh, non How happy have we just made you? Now, they're not marked suitable for vegans, they're marked suitable for vegetarians, but by ingredient, they are indeed vegan. <coughs> and it's one of them, it's cross-contamination issue, may contain traces of, they're 60p. 60p now quick tip for these if you're gonna buy them they're very very really crumbly massive crumbly and um, but only at room temperature if you keep them in the fridge they go really firm and then when you dunk them in a brew oh mm. yeah they're upside down now oh why is my life yeah. like there this <laughs> mm. In our recent um, munch idea video where we used wraps, it was one of these. They are 95p and they're all marked vegan, and you get them in wholemeal, white, herb, sweet chili, and multigrain. And they're absolutely fantastic. 95p for eight fabulous wraps. 
we don't think this is necessarily Tesco's own brand I mean it might be from our kitchen hearty food court but there is a vegan marked vegan garlic bread in the chilled section of most Tesco's now and it's 32p but look at the nutritional no red at all just a bit of amber and who don't like a bit of amber Karen 32p bargain have it with some pasta all on its own it's up to you these make me smile greatly. Um, so thanks to London Vegans for uh, getting us onto these. Uh, nearest thing you can get to Monster Munch. Absolutely love them. Clearly marked vegan. And a quid for 10 packs. Not the healthiest snack, but a nice little treat now and again. Great for a crisp butty. What else is there? Um, oh yeah, so there's also the bacon rashers one, which I didn't even know about. We didn't know about these ones. And uh, the onion rings. So we've had the onion rings before, and we've had the monster claws before. Um, but yeah, we've not tried the, the, uh, the rashers yet. So these are awesome. Definitely worth getting. Now we know that there's like vegan airs and there's Hellman's vegan mayo on the market at the moment but they're two pound odd a jar and if you want something quick and simple you can get this mayonnaise from Tesco's for one pound fifty. Now strangely it used to be marked vegan but it's not anymore but just check the ingredients and it is and there's also uh, free from salad cream which is a pound and absolutely gorgeous so if you do like your, your bit of mayo or a bit of salad cream you can't go wrong with these because you can get both for £2.50 mm. Honourable mention Tesco's OT biscuits 36p clearly marked vegan absolute bargain and proper tasty in a brew or just on its own perfect how much are 36 pence that's actually an absolute bargain isn't it mm -hmm. honorable mention number one another honorable mention for tesco's is they've got a really good wine selection in the low price point uh, quite a lot of that are vegan which is fantastic this is a vegan merlot um, but if you check the bottom shelf um, really good selection in the low price point five pound around five pound a bit cheaper sometimes the only slight criticism i would say is the vegan is really really tiny you've got to have like bat eyes or something oh no bats have got rubbish eyes haven't they um no. have they got in the dark yeah oh you've got to have really good eyes to be able to see it it's so so tiny um i doubt you'll even be able to see it on the camera Yeah, and most of the wines are marked like that, um, which is a bit of a pain for those that haven't got great eyesight. But, like I said, honourable mention number two, really good selection, go looking if you're into your red wine. Are we recording? Is this recording? Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, well, good. Uh, so we're back. We're back from, from what was... A reasonable trip to Tesco's, but yeah. I was very disappointed about the chilli and jalapeno cheddar, mm. to be honest. Yes. Um, but it kind of shows you something that we uh, alluded to in our Top 10 at Sainsbury's video, in that uh, there are some stores that are just, uh, that are better than others. Uh, so our Tesco in Failsworth, which is slightly nearer. Yeah than the one we've just been to, which is the biggest one in, in our yeah, town. Yeah. Um, our local one is much, much better. And that one was, uh, there was a couple of things. They didn't have the uh, Wicked Cakes either. No. Um, and they really do deserve an honorable mention. Uh, pineapple Cheesecake and the Red Velvet Brownie. Yeah, love they're, the they're love beautiful. I mean, they're four pound, but they're they're absolutely beautiful. Cakes. And they're big as well for four quid. Yeah, I decent mean, size. Yeah, six portions. Yeah. kind of easily. Um, anything you want to say about any of the items we've uh, we we featured in our um, our collection today? Yeah, um, it's all great stuff. I think we've covered it mostly in the video. It's all reasonably priced. 
Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, all of the stuff we've covered today, well, yeah, it's all exclusive to Tesco, isn't it? I think it's it? all Tesco own brand. That's what we're trying to do is just be, because, as again, we've said before, uh, most of the supermarkets carry Quorn, Viva Vera, mm -hmm. or, um, fries, you know, the, it, it, so we wanted to focus on their own products. What yes. do they do themselves? What do they produce themselves? But again, it's all great stuff and... Um, One of my favourites that we've bought today is actually the breaded uh, vegetable quarter pounders. Yes. Absolutely. Just now and again, because we are a very diverse diet, as you're more than aware if, you've, if, you, if you follow us. Um, we eat Greek, Chinese, Italian, you know, we eat a really diverse diet. And then now and again, I'll just set a J. Do you know, I just want veg tonight. So we'll have uh, one of the breaded quarter pounders with a load of steamed veg mm. covered in nooch. And it's a perfect meal. And those wraps, they actually had more wraps, you know, than I knew. Yes, I, I didn't know they had the mixed herb ones. Mm -hmm. I knew the multigrain, the sweet chilli, the white and the whole meal. I knew... But I didn't know about the mixed herb ones. Yeah, the wraps are amazing. And I thought they actually sounded quite nice because um, I'll link our lunch video I mentioned uh, when I said about the wraps. We we did a kind of lunch video. I think those I'll link it at the end. Mm. I think those herb ones would be beautiful with an Italian themed toasted sandwich. Ah uh, yes. So if you've got some <clears throat> vegan pepperoni or salami. Uh, and some hard cheese. Mm. You know, oh yeah, 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 man. yeah. That'd be gorgeous. Yeah. Ooh. I remember all these ideas, Karen. Pizza on a wrap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Pizza on a toasted wrap. Mm. Pizza wrap. Yeah. Hey, that could be a, a future recipe video. I also want to tell you, if you're watching this, uh, that uh, I did an experiment last night. Um, because I'll always experiment with things before I do a recipe video. I'm not going to, you know, film me failing at something. Uh, although that might be quite funny at some point. Anyway, I've been watching a lot of videos about tofu uh, mm -hmm. on YouTube. And I've kind of picked an idea from there and an idea from there. And, you know, her way of doing that and his way of doing that. And I tried my own way last night of doing crispy bit... He's hungry. <laughs> um, crispy baked tofu well oh. you could have knocked me down with a feather which you can do most of the time anyway because I'm a drag queen I see a feather I'm like get that away from me <laughs> I said I mean I can I can happily step back and be impartial I think um, some people can some people can't I can step back uh, and say last night that was one of if not the best tofu incarnations mm. I've ever tasted. It's well, beautiful. Let's insert a picture here. So that's what we had. We had a lovely spinach rice, uh, which was just rice and spinach mixed. Um, we had edamame, we had a lovely little mix. I had a yellow pepper and a tomato in the fridge and I thought I'll whack them in a little frying pan with a little bit of oil and some chilli powder and, and stuff and uh, and the crispy baked tofu gorgeous that's another recipe video coming up uh, for sure because mm. um, I've got all these ways of doing tofu now I can do fried egg scrambled egg I can do beautiful marinated tofu crispy baked tofu really getting into the tofu i never thought i'd said that no same <laughs> same but it just goes to prove that putting the time in and it's not a huge amount of time but no. doing, doing the prep learning how to use tofu effectively yes. and realizing i suppose how versatile it's it is so versatile it really is so versatile and you know the marinades and making them and then kind of experimenting with them listen to me talking about like i know what i'm doing what you, I'm know, talking you know about. what you're talking about i observe i observe this one here cooking cooking special things uh, but yeah it was it was a gorgeous meal so that will be coming up in a future video and of course we have said we're going to do asda that'll happen uh, uh top 10 items so we need to do a bit of research 
there because we're not regular shoppers. We're not regular Asda shoppers, but I know one straight away. I've got three straight away. Well, we'll be fine then. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful uh, in some way. As always, we encourage you to go to your local supermarket or Chinese supermarket or Indian supermarket, but your general local supermarket have a good look mm. check out all the free from sections because they they can be a gold mine but you still have to be careful like if you see free from brownies and you immediately think oh brilliant it's possibly got egg in good point yeah you've still got to check the ingredients don't get caught out no and make sure it says suitable for vegans you know if vegan uh, if plant-based is the way you're going if vegan is the way you're going um, and if you're vegetarian of course you don't have to uh, worry about uh, uh, eggs and milk but you should how <laughs> <laughs> um, are, are we done dear I believe so yes uh, so we're filming this on Saturday and on Sunday we've got the family coming around for a big family vegan meal uh, so of course we're going to film some of that and uh, we'll have another shopping video soon and lots more videos to come recipes sit down chats in the kitchen nights out reviewing restaurants political satire and commentary social commentary <clears throat> and just us two yeah because yeah. we just yeah we want to just carry on doing what we're doing but not be too pigeonholed into one specific thing because yeah we're vegan but as i'm sure we've said in other videos we're so much more than that. Vegan, gay, actors, musicians, directors, writers, stuff. Hey, here's something I've never actually said. Have you ever, have any of you ever checked out the playlist or the things we're in? Uh. That's a little treasure trove, you know, music videos we've been in or little snippets from TV yeah. or comedy things or short films. We're in them. We, <laughs> we have a USB pen at home uh, to plug in our telly when we've, you know, when we've got things on it we want to watch. And we have a folder in there uh, labelled, we're in them. We're in um. We're in them. <laughs> but get rid of that TH. We're from North. We're in them. We're in them. Aye. So we've had our false ending. Should we have our proper ending now? Yes. Yes. So as we always say, thank you so much for taking the time. Um, please share, like, click the bell, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for coming on this journey with us. We love you guys. No, but E though, we really do love you. And I love you, Mr. Man. Love you. Uh, until next time, guys, please be excellent to yourself. And of course, be excellent to each other. Lots of love. I hope you're doing this till the first then. No. You left me on me own.